Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this Android tablet by a brand called Vankyo Matrix Pad Model is S10 and it's a 10 inch Android tablet. Now this is a budget price Android tablet, you can purchase one for less than £100 UK currency, however uh, regarding the specs, um, the specs is not the best the RAM is low RAM, memory is not that much so depending on what you're buying it for, if you're buying it to play um, games such as Call of Duty Mobile etc then your tablet might start lagging and freezing etc because the memory and the RAM is not enough for that however if you're buying it just to web search and you know one or two you know lightweight game, no like a, a crazy games okay that takes up a lot of memory, a lot of uh, graphics, a lot of downloading time then it's perfect for that okay it's a 10 inch tablet I like the back fit it has really it looks really nice and got that excellent um, feel as well to it it has a rear camera as you can see here and at the top it has a micro um, SD uh, memory card there a USB type C charging port uh, volume button and the power button there so let me switch you on so I can show you the rest of the features now at the front let me just quickly clean the screen this is what happens when honestly any tablets fingerprint alright now at the front it also has a front camera as well and the speakers are here so the speakers are slightly tilted forward so if you're watching a film etc it's brilliant um, so let us um, load up so I can show you the rest of the features and it comes with a, a plug here and a USB type C charging cable it comes with a uh, user guide as well that gives you a lot of information in various languages as well that you can choose from so it has most uh, most of the languages um, to choose from European languages and I think that's Chinese as well okay so you got all those options and gives you more information of how to navigate through the tablet alright so I like the touch screen because it works perfectly as well screen is brilliant as well and it has a um, built-in Android 9.0 operating system with a quad-core processor, 2 gig RAM and 32 gig internal memory. So that's not enough, I would say. Um, but unless you're buying it for like you know just a minimum of minimal use, if you want to extend the memory, you got the option by putting a micro SD memory card and extending that. It also has built-in GPS. The screen size is 10 inch and it has a HD IPS display so that's why the screen um, quality is amazing and you can, uh, I can uh, in my opinion I would say it's really good um, with a, it also has a with, it's with a vivid um, color as well it has a built in 6000 mAh battery capacity so that gives you up to around 8 hours of usage time and uh, requires around an hour or two to give you a full charge and the dual speakers here and there that gives you that good surround sound system when you're playing games or watching films etc it just gives you that extra that good entertainment with these um, quality dual speakers and uh, the USB type C charges up a lot quicker than a micro SD um, no micro SD micro USB charging um, ports and the only downside regarding this um, tablet is the fact that it doesn't come with no case um, no screen protector I think it has, it has one I think it has one built into this but no case with it now the only downside is that if you go and search um, uh, for this case on eBay Amazon etc you won't find it that's that's the downside of it they should have provided a case then I think it would have been quite good uh, the dimension of this is 26.5 times 19 times 0 0.57 centimeters and the weight of this is really light, it's only 800 grams, so it's a really lightweight tablet, stylish and operates really well. Okay, so that's all the features. Let me go to settings, I can show you some other features he has. So, okay, let's see how much memory it has um, without downloading anything. This is me just um, skipping the registration, um, Google registration, where you have to um, connect your Wi-Fi, so I just skipped all of that so I can show you how it looks. Now, out of the 32 gig, already 6 gig is already already used up from the built-in apps that's already built into it. So, 17% is already used without even downloading or using it. So, you have around 26 gig left. 
security and locations. The rest of the features are basically Android features you have there. Okay, Android 9.0 operating system. And yeah, I do highly recommend it because it's affordable, it's stylish, has decent features with a good battery life. And I, lo I love the screen, HD IP IPS um, display with vivid color. It really stands out and it's really bright uh, for watching YouTube, etc. And watching films, etc. is brilliant with their dual and speakers as well. So, in my opinion, I would say go for it. And I don't think you would be disappointed buying one of these. So, thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.